Uh, you can download Pop OS by going to System76 Pop OS and downloading it with this button right here, 1910, or grabbing the LTS download right here. And we're back for another Pop video, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to get Kitty Plasma in Pop OS. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to quickly pull up a terminal and check to see if we have updates. And if you guys didn't see the last video, please check that out. So we're going to do sudo apt update and then your password. And all packages are up to date. If they weren't, they would show a number here. So we're all good. So now the next thing we're going to be doing is... We're going to be running this command sudo apt install kde dash plasma dash desktop. And we're going to be getting a whole lot of packages in pop OS. So then we're going to hit yes. And I can't remember if there were any errors because um, I tested this out to make sure it will work in VirtualBox, but um, VirtualBox really isn't the same as doing it on hardware, so please be aware of that. So what are we going to pick? You can leave it on. So here's the thing that I'm going to do. You guys don't have to do this. You guys can stay with GDM3, which is the basic GNOME login manager, or you can switch to SVDM. I'm going to switch to SVDM, and I'm going to hit Tab. On the keyboard and click enter Okay, and that didn't take long. That took about five minutes, depending on if you're running an SSD or an M if you're running an NVMe drive, it's going to be shorter than that. So this took really fast. So after that's done, let me just clear the screen. We want to do... 
I'm just looking over my notes and after that's done now we want to log out and log back in so let me do that right now Okay, so now we're back in KDE. Now that you're logged in, um, we can go to About System and you can see it still says Pop OS and we're on the stable. Um, Ubuntu Plasma, which is 5.16.5 in Ubuntu 19.10. So now that we have that, you can see um, we don't have the Pop! OS wallpapers anymore. So, the first thing we have to do is get a couple of stuff. Um, so, let's check to see if it still has the Ubuntu wall Pop! OS wallpapers in here. So, let's... um. You have to go to add images and we're going to go to the root directory so you want to go to the file system user share and it's in ba backgrounds pop and we want this folder, so let's open it. Oh, actually, we don't want this folder. We need the image that we want first. So the image I'm going to choose is this one. So let's click on that image and hit it. It's apply and we got an image that we want from the Pop! OS wallpapers and let me see what else um, and the next thing is um, does it have, does it still have the pop shot? Okay, yeah. The pop shot still has, so. You can see this is the pop shop and everything. And, okay, some icons are missing. That's normal. So. That's normal because of the theming. So, um, yeah, so the next thing you want to do is install um, this program, Muon Package Manager. I don't know if that's how you say it, but this package manager right here, Muon Package Manager. You can install it by sudo apt install Muon and it will install this or you can go to the pop shop and install it from in pop but do note that the theming will be messed up since you're gonna be in GNOME 
installing it if you install it before you install KDE well if you're on GNOME it's gonna be it's gonna look different so yeah so that about wraps everything up since that's how you get KDE Plasma stable on Pop OS. Thanks for watching and bye now.